Hey poses, welcome to the Black and White Delights first ever review of Raw. First off, I'd just like to let everybody know that tonight I am putting as much into this review as Raw puts creativity in their shows. I'll probably be looking at my notes most of the time because I barely watched the freaking show because it was Raw. I got a lot of requests to do Raw reviews. I'm a fan of the Slammies, although tonight's weren't, there were some that were okay and there were some that were just so freaking bad. On top of that, the wrestling sucked. Everything else sucked. So let's go right into the Raw review. This week's Raw is in my backyard of New Orleans, Louisiana. All right. We kick off the show with an award. David Arquette comes out and he's, you know, saying all of these, I don't know, stupid stuff. But he basically gives a Shocker of the Year award away, which goes to Nexus. I agree. I think that the Nexus invasion was by far the most shocking moment of this year. By far. And maybe Daniel Bryan returning. I really didn't see that coming either. That's probably a close second. Next, we have a match where it's going to be, you know, Wade Bear comes out to accept the award or whatever, and then uh, the general manager comes on, and he says, oh, well, you have a match now against the Big Show. So these guys fight in a pretty crappy three-minute exchange where, um, and the burp, sorry, where basically Barrett leaves and gets counted out. <gasps> Burped again. Really? And that's it. I mean, that, that's it. Three minutes, and he walks out. It's like... Do I really have to review this? Okay. I can make this. This is a this is a three hour raw, but I, I can make it. I promise. I, I will make it through this. Next we go to another award, which is the Despicable Me or the Douchebag Award or whatever, which is CM Punk singing Happy Birthday to Rey Mysterio's daughter. Another one that I actually agreed with. I thought that was a great award, a, a worthy thing to get an award for. CM Punk accepts. On top, now we go to another, or I'm sorry, the match, second match of the night, which is Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston versus Dolph Ziggler and Ted DiBiase. This is a typical, like, three, two-minute Raw match. But I think at the end, I think that Ted DiBiase botched it. I think, you know, because Kofi hit the trouble in paradise on Dolph, and I think DiBiase was supposed to break it up, but DiBiase didn't make it in time. Now, I think, you know, I think that could have been the excuse, but I also think that DiBiase botched it because he didn't make it there in time. So the match ended early. So that's for all of you to judge. Leave your, leave your opinions in the comment box. Next up, we have another award. Pee Wee Herman gets the best guest host or guest star power, whatever that stupid award is, which is okay. You know, the, I, I really enjoyed the Miz and Pee Wee Herman promo that they had back and forth. However, I think that there were more deserving awards, and I can't remember what it was. There was another one that I thought deserved better, and I can't remember right now. Next, we go to the third match of the night, which is Mark Henry versus Dashing. Cody Rhodes, and Henry jobs out. I think Cody Rhodes hit like a knee or the beautiful disaster or whatever and pinned him. I barely paid attention to this match. I'm telling you guys, I can't do Raw. I can't sit through it. Next, we go to another award where Cena wins the best move or the most crazy finisher or whatever of the year. No, 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 no. This is one I do not agree with. Evan Bourne getting RKO'd in mid-shooting star press. Holy crap. That move, hands down, should have won this award. But no, they had to try to push Cena. Of course, and of course, you know, Cena can't accept the award. He's fired. So Wade Barrett comes out and he says that Cena can't accept this award. He's sorry, but he was going to give everyone his decision about Cena. <gasps> and then he tells Cena to come out. And then he tells Cena that he's going to reinstate him. Yeah, duh. Then Nexus comes out and they beat the crap out of Cena. Then we find out it's a chairs match between Cena and Barrett at the pay-per-view. I was kind of hoping that they would go with a, uh, you know, Cena versus Barrett in a ladders match where the where Cena's contract was hung above the ladder and then Cena if Cena won he would get his contract if Barrett won Barrett gets to rip up Cena's contract I thought it would have been great 
then Cena would still be fired. And I, that'd just be awesome. And maybe Cena would actually take some time off so we don't have to see his ugly mug. Anyway, where am I at? Uh, next, the Miz girl gets the like the fan reaction award or whatever. Awesome, like the the devil chick or whatever. And she actually comes out. She's actually there, and she actually comes out and accepts the award. And then the Miz comes out and takes the award from her. And you know, I, I really just wish she kind of would have low blowed him or slapped him or something. That would have just been great. But instead, she just kind of pouted off. Next up, we go to the fourth match of the night because the general manager sets up a match with The Miz facing a former world heavyweight champion, which is Rey Mysterio. During the match, Alberto Del Rio comes out and distracts Rey Mysterio, and then The Miz wins. I think Alex Riley eventually got involved, and, you know, Miz probably did a low blow or a pot shot on Rey and got the pin. Good thing I'm not doing a Ranger ranking system tonight, because I tell you what, there'd be a lot of zeros and ones. Next up, we uh, have another award, which is the O oh Snap Award, which Edge and Christian are giving away this award. <gasps> Could they be teaming? Let's hope not. I want them to feud. These two would be awesome to feud. Anyway, so uh, Edge wins the O oh Snap Award when he beats up the, the laptop. This is another one I don't agree with. You know, I... Gosh, why can't I remember any of these other awards? I really should have like written down the ones I thought should have won. But there was another award that, I, and maybe you know, maybe I'll put it in the description box, like all the awards that I thought should have won. Maybe I'll put that in the description box. So it, look in the description box for the awards that I thought should have won. Anyway, um, so Edge won. I don't agree with it. But then in the middle of it, you know, Christian pulls out his cell phone and it's making the text message sound or whatever, and you know, like. Christian is faking out Edge, making him think that the general manager's calling him, and Christian's like, and Edge is like, you're kidding me, right? And Edge is like, your Christian's like, yeah, I'm just kidding, yeah. So anyway, next we go to, but anyway, Edge wins the O snap, where he freaks out and breaks the general manager's thing. Next we go to the fifth match of the night, which is Sheamus and Morrison, which is a 30 second match, and then the double DQ because they don't stop brawling, which announces the ladder match for the pay per view, which is going to be Sheamus versus John Morrison. Above it is going to be a contract for the number one contendership for the WWE title. Yes! Good idea. I like it. I'm getting TLC just to see this match. And probably the tables match with uh, ADR and Ray. And probably the tables match with Miz and Orton. And those, actually, TLC is not turning up to be too bad. Okay. Uh, the, um, next we go to an award, which is the knucklehead moment, which goes to Team Lake, Cool, and Mae Young, where Mae Young drops the B-bomb on the PG. Next up, then, after that, we have the sixth match, which is the Diva Battle Royal, where Mick Taker, of course, because she's banging Taker, wins, and she's the Diva of the Year. Then it's announced that there will be the first ever Tag Team Divas table match, where it'll be Team Lake, Cool versus Beth Phoenix and Natalia. Okay! You know, at least three out of four really good workers. McTaker's not that great of a worker, but Beth, Natalia, and Lake and uh, Layla are great workers in the ring. So I'm excited to see this match. Next we have the seventh match, which is Edge versus Jack Swagger, which is the match of the night. And this is pretty sad because this is like a two out of five. Something Rangers. I mean, really, this match was just a tad under par at best. I mean... I don't know. But uh, Edge spears Jack Swagger and gets the win. It's not a bad exchange, but it was nothing, nothing incredible. I mean, I really wish this match would happen on SmackDown. It might have actually been good. Um, my, the next award is Moment of the Year, which goes to HBK and Taker, which I think is well-deserved. And uh, HBK comes on the Titan Tron. He said he couldn't be there live because he's afraid that the WWE would try to convince him to come back. I got I kind of marked out at that point because it's true. You know, they try to get him to do something in, in some sort of capacity. I think Shawn should be the GM. I mean, yeah, I agree. Shawn Michaels shouldn't wrestle anymore. His body's destroyed, but the guy's great on the mic and he's an icon. Why can't he be a general manager? Why can't he be a commentator? Seriously, get Michael Cole off SmackDown and put uh, put either uh, Christian or HBK as commentator if they really want a third commentator. Don't, don't put Michael Cole on SmackDown. He needs to stay on Raw. Anyway, um, eighth match is... Dave, oh, I'm sorry. David Arquette and Alex Wright. I mean, Alex Riley. 
versus okay all I can think about is this the whole time I'm watching this man he looks like Alex Wright too please please correct me if I'm wrong but Alex Wright or Alex Riley looks a lot like Alex Wright from WCW correct me if I'm wrong but I just think these two guys look a lot alike anyway <sighs> see I'm even I'm even bored doing my review this show is just so blech. Anyway, uh, David Arquette versus Alex Riley, uh, vers or I'm sorry, yeah, David Arquette and Alex Riley versus Orton. Orton wins with an RKO and Riley. Then after the match, Miz jumps him. Then uh, David Arquette gets put through a table by Randy Orton after the match. Wow. Next, we go to the an award, which is the quote of the year, presented by Michael Cole. And guess who wins? Michael Cole. And then, of course, they cut him off while he's trying to do his acceptance speech, so gives Cole more fuel to be pissed off. And, you know, of course, Lawler's pissed off at him and stuff. Eh. Anyway, uh, the final award of the night is Superstar of the Year, which goes to... Recently instated John Cena. Dog. Anyway, so, um... Yeah, so John Cena wins the Superstar of the Year Award. Son of a B. I mean, seriously. What? I mean, I guess it makes legitimate sense because if the WWE Universe voted and most of the WWE fans are like teenagers and kids, I guess it makes sense. But really, I just... I mean, last year they had Jericho win, which was 100% absolutely correct. Jericho was the superstar of the year. Cena? No. No, no, no. It didn't, where, okay, you know, this is the last, this is the last award. Where's rookie of the year? Where's match of the year? I mean, I guess that would be HBK versus Taker, technically, but that was like moment of the year. That wasn't match of the year. You know, where's, I, where's promo of the year? Where, I mean, where is any of these basic awesome awards? You know, I, oh gosh, I just, ah, Raw just drives me nuts. Anyway, so Cena wins, he makes a speech, he goes down to face David Otunga. It's like a three minute match. Otunga taps out, Cena claims to take out Otunga because he beats him with a chair a couple times. Show ends. Tonight's Raw, wrestling wise, sucked balls. Balls, 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 balls. Balls, big balls, big massive ball. Here, I'll show. You. No, I'm not gonna show you my balls. Only the ladies get to see my balls. But seriously, tonight sucked. The the Slammy Awards, I agree with some of them, but there are really some stupid awards that didn't need to be done, and there were some that weren't even there that needed to be there. All right. Well, I you know I I'm just done complaining. Go to RassenRevolution.com. Sign up for the Tag Team Title Championship Contest. You know, where you have to do is you have to get yourself a tag team partner. You have to make a collaboration video. The most creative video wins. Not the best quality. Not the longest video. Not the most popular video. The most creative. So, anyway, I guess that's it for my Raw review. My first ever Raw review. I hope you all enjoyed. Leave your opinions and comments in the comment box. And let me know what you think. As I said, some people did ask me to do this, so I'm doing it. So, if you didn't like it, tough. If you did like it, tough. I don't even know what I'm going to do any more of these, but we'll see what happens. I'm Grumpachito, and I am awesome.